Yeah, you know, um, first I just want to say that I have nothing but really high regards for Ruth and her program. And um, we, we modeled their program a few years ago and wanted to get to, to where they were. And um, I have nothing but respect for them. I thought they played really hard. And, but overall, I'm really happy, um, especially for our seniors, our only two seniors. Um, Kaylee and Bobby have put so much into this program and, and to get us to this point. Um, they had a lot of work to do over their four-year career and, and everything that they have done for us and um, you know they set new standards and that's paying off right now. About the game, you know, I, th I thought we had great balance. Um, we had a lot of a lot of kids step up and hit some good shots when we needed to. We we went down, I think, seven early in the third quarter, and then when our, we hit a really big run, and and our kids were playing with confidence, and and they've been doing that here for the last three games, and um, couldn't be prouder. Coach, let me ask you first. After you guys lost to Co in the first round of the IAC playoffs, your NCAA Oaks were arguably uh, not so good, but then you got a little luck one when Luther lost in the IAC championship game, which threw you guys back at the front burner. And since that time, you've made the most of uh, an incredibly, incredibly uh, fortunate situation for you guys. You've taken that opportunity and you've run with it. Uh, what was the reaction? I mean, how did you guys recover from that loss to Cole, and then once you found out you got that MCA bid, I mean, what what's been the turnaround with this team from that time? Well, I tell you, it's been it's been a whirlwind. Um, I knew after that co loss, based on the regional rankings, that we had a chance. Um, I really felt like the teams that below us in the regional rankings that won would get automatic bids, and the teams below us that lost, I thought, would have a hard time jumping us. And as long as St. Thomas and George Fox won their leagues, I felt like we had a, we had a legitimate shot. Um, and I knew if we were the first West Region team on the board that we were still probably gonna be a bubble team. Um, we were either gonna be one of the last teams in or the first teams out. And fortunately, um, there weren't very many upsets. Most years, you're not getting a pool C with seven losses. Um, and, it, you know, I think this is a great story. Katie and her sister Christy um, flew to Florida and were with our softball team. Um, they knew that we might get the bid, and if they did, that we were getting them on a, a plane back home. So we found out literally on Monday afternoon, I called their mom, I called our trainer who was in Florida with them, and I said, we're in, we gotta get them on a plane. And so they went to the softball field and it was in the middle of a game. Katie had a hit and a run scored. So we flew them back and... Pretty <laughs> crazy. Hey, it's it's great. And, you know, so we knew we, knew we had a chance. Uh, the other thing is we were on break that next week, so I sent all our kids home and I, I said, we got a chance. I don't know if any of them believe me. Um, because you really got to understand the system. And a lot of people would have thought, well, you know, Luther's getting in before us. And and I knew that that probably wasn't going to happen. And we did have a chance. So I said, stay close. Um, and if we get in, we'll practice Monday at 7. Um, and so that's what we did. And we scrambled around and got people back. I think the other kind of neat angle to this is Kaylee um, on that Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday, high jumped in the indoor conference meet and won it and set, an, set a long, broken a long standing conference record, qualified for nationals. Um, she's given up jumping tomorrow to be with us. Um, so it's, it's been crazy, it's been really crazy. Um, but once we got it, it was, it was really about, um, we got a second chance and let's go make the most of it. Um, we felt like all along we were good enough um, and I think we've shown that. For the players, how are you able to keep your focus kind of in that unknown time? Um, I mean, I'll speak first, I guess. I get, like Coach said, like, he thought 
we didn't really believe in that we had a chance, and to be honest, I don't think many of us really did. I mean, our hopes were there, but for Kaylee and I, I mean, it was kind of a hard time for us because we thought our seasons were probably over um, and we would be done after that. So when we got the text on Monday and we all watched the, uh, the selection show, it was pretty awesome to see that. I mean, it's kind of like a resurrection, like you need to come back and play. And so um, we got there and everyone was focused. I think the break actually helped us. We were able to kind of take a break and then come back together and refocus and end up working out well for us. So. Hey, so how do you how do you look for tomorrow when uh, playing uh, Tyler, Texas? Uh, we got a lot of work to do tonight. <laughs> they're good. They're good. Um, you know, I, they're coming off an emotional win as well. Um, you know, so I think it's two teams that are coming off really big emotional wins, which I guess, you know, at this time of year they all are. Um, but they're really athletic. They attack the rim well. They shoot the three well. Um, I think they're a tough matchup for anybody they play. Uh, but I think we are too. And I, you know, we've got some size advantage, um, so it, it's it's a it's a tall task, no no question. Uh, but I think it's two very good teams going head to head. Christy, Kate, Kate, yeah. uh, you and your sister Christy hit some big threes uh, coming down the stretch. Uh, you hit one uh, at the seven minute mark, and then Christy hit one. Uh, a bit later with, with 5.42 left, and that really seemed to give you guys uh, a head of steam going down the stretch. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, the first half I wasn't shooting very well, so my teammates kept giving me the confidence, keep shooting, keep shooting. And I got a lot of confidence, and I knew the ball was going to go in when I shot it, and vice versa with my sister. I believe in my team. I know they're going to hit the shots when we need them, so we all stuck together and pulled it out. Well, there are two more questions. First one for you, Katie. You set a single season record in assists tonight. Congratulations. Um, how were you able to kind of see your teammates on the floor tonight? Um, well, i just visual. I can see my teammates as I'm driving down. Um, and props to them, though, because they're finding the open slots for me, like let me know where they're at. And shout out to them, though, because they're the one that helped me achieve that goal. And then last one for all of you on the table, Elite Eight. What do you think? No, it's unbelievable. It's awesome. Something that I mean, you set out for in your career. So for me and Kaylee as seniors, I mean, it's what we've been working for four years, and Katie's got two more years left. So it's pretty sweet. I mean, you want to keep it going. Congratulations. Good luck. Thanks.